In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to easily make a realistic looking radio for the purpose of a play or film. The build shouldn't take very long, and the materials are cheap and easy to get. Okay, first you'll need a uh, probably about a foot by foot box. Any size will really work, uh, just make sure it's in good condition and doesn't have labels on at least one side. You'll also need a spare piece of cardboard in relatively good condition. Uh, really any size will work, you don't need much. You'll also need cutting utensils. I'm using uh, scissors and a box cutter. You'll need some measuring tape or a ruler some blue painters tape and some scotch tape. You can use duct tape or really any kind of tape. A sharpie or some kind of marker. Even a pencil will work. You're just gonna need something for tracing lines. Uh, small popsicle sticks. A hot glue gun with plenty of hot glue. It doesn't matter the size of the hot glue gun. Uh, some brushes and a coarse piece of fabric. I won't be painting the radio in this how-to video, but if you are making your own, you should only need two kinds of paint. The color will depend on what kind of radio you want to build. Alright, now we're ready to actually construct the radio. First we're going to start with the dials. You can actually cut out cardboard dials if you don't have anything to use. Here in the video I'm using dials that I got off of an old beatbox. Now you're going to use your pencil or sharpie to trace out the lines on the parts where you're going to cut. You want to try to make really straight easy to see lines and that'll make it much easier in the cutting process later. Now you'll want to trace out another box um, below your, your larger one that you'll be cutting. And this is basically going to be where your dials go. After you've traced your straight lines, uh, you're actually going to take your dials um, or uh, some kind of round object that's small and fits inside of the rectangle. And you're going to trace around the edges of it so that you have two small circles and you'll want to make small marks in the middle of them to signify where you're going to make your holes to actually put your dials. Now you'll want to go ahead and cut along the lines that you've made and using a box cutter or whatever cutting utensil you are using be very careful but try to stay on the line and make straight cuts. Once you've cut out your hole, you can see that you'll be able to put the coarse fabric behind there. You'll do that using hot glue or some kind of tape. Next, you're going to need the popsicle sticks. This is going to be used to make the um, grill between your dials. Now you can take a pencil, sharpie, or some kind of writing pencil and trace out a line in between the dials. Use your cutting utensil and make another straight line. Just a single straight line. Now you'll want to take the extra cardboard that you have, whether it be the actual cardboard that you cut out of the hole at the top of your radio or the extra cardboard that I mentioned in the materials list and basically line it up with the line that you cut and just sort of trace out a crescent shaped piece of cardboard just long enough so that it fits in the hole that you just cut and just kind of fit it into that hole. Now we're going to attach our dials. You can use a skinny screwdriver or even a pencil to poke the holes for your dials.
Next we're going to make some little pegs using the ends of the popsicle sticks. Uh, you'll basically want to line them up with the spare cardboard that you cut earlier. It should look similar to this example. After you finish marking your popsicle sticks, you can take your scissors and cut along the lines. You'll want to have about 10 to 12 popsicle stick ends. Now that we've got them cut out, we can finally start hot gluing them down. You'll only need to use about a dab of hot glue and then place down the tip of your popsicle stick. Try to keep them as evenly spaced as possible, but again, it doesn't need to be perfect. When you're done, it should look something a little bit like this. This would be the point where you would begin to paint your cardboard. You'll want to do this before you attach your dials or attach your coarse fabric. Do two coats of each color and just do light coats because if you use too much paint at one time it can tend to damage the integrity of the cardboard. You can use the blue tape to tape off parts of the radio and this will help you with your straight lines. Once you've let the paint completely dry, you can attach both of your dials and attach the coarse fabric. You can use hot glue or duct tape, but you'll want to have something that's going to keep it there really well. 